So we're left at the end of Meditation 1, in the depths of a skeptical hypothesis. So Descartes thinks about his thinking. So he asks himself, is there anything that he can know or anything he can believe with certainty? While, you know, we still have this hypothesis of the evil demon in play. So he reflects on the fact that he is aware that he is thinking. More precisely, he's aware that he is doubting. And if he's doubting, then there has to be someone doing the doubting. Why? Because actions of doubting just can't exist sort of floating in the universe free from any individual doing the doubting, right? Doubting requires there to be a doubter. Thinking, more generally, requires there to be a thinker. And since Descartes is certain that he is thinking, he can be certain that he exists. This is the well-known cogito argument, right? that is often summarized as, I think, therefore, I am. So Descartes' awareness of his own thinking is enough to provide him with certainty that he exists. Now, he follows that up quickly with, you know, what is it, what is the he that exists? So putting it in the first person, Descartes says, you know, I'm thinking, right, I exist, but what is this I? that does the thinking? What is the I that exists? And after running through some possibilities, he concludes that he is a thinking thing. So a thing that believes, desires, hopes, doubts, fears, and so on. So halfway through the second meditation, Descartes has demonstrated to himself that he exists and also that he exists as a thinking thing. So the final bit in the second meditation is what's often referred to as the wax experiment. So what Descartes does is he says he will temporarily allow himself to believe that there's something that exists in the world independent from him. And he considers a candle, right, a hunk of wax. And so he asks, what is in the nature? What is it to be this chunk of wax? And he's asking this question in order to better understand his own mind, right? In order to better understand himself. So what he notices is that the chunk of wax throughout its changes, right? From a piece of, from a hard piece of wax to a pool of liquid wax, he noticed that what stays constant is that it is extended. That is to say, it takes up room in space. And so Descartes, reflecting on this, concludes that what is essential to physical objects is that they exist in space, that they are extended, that they take up room in space. And he thinks about himself as a thinking thing and notices that he doesn't seem to take up room in space. And so he concludes from this that taking up room in space is not a feature of being a thinking thing. What he does notice is that to be a thinking thing, you have to think. It's right there in the title. And so what he concludes is that thought or consciousness is essential to being a thinking thing. And so he argues, he posits, argues, that physical objects and thinking things, he's the only thing he knows that exists as a thinking thing, right? So he himself. They're different things. They're characterized by different features. Physical objects take up room in space, but they are not conscious. Thinking things are conscious, but they don't seem to take up room in space. 